Hazel in the Fault in Our Stars has the opinion that funerals are more for the living than they are for the dead, and I fear that this is gonna be the same thing. The dash. It's used as a punctuation mark has enraged many an AP English student. When does one use an M dash? When does one use an N dash? And those little figure dashes, I mean, it's all so confusing. One of its uses is to denote a passage of time, and nowhere is that more prevalent than in a cemetery like this one. What stands out walking between the headstones is that no matter if it was 90 years or a few months, everybody gets that same marking. That punctuation is there to represent an entire person's life. I was recently visiting my parents who live about two hours north of the city, and it's, I love visiting them because it's secluded and it's out on a farm and I was the hustle bustle of the city here so uh, very quite lovely and some relatives were visiting which someone would have to take a long time to draw out a map and graphs and lines and exactly how I'm related to them uh, which is beside the point. The discussion turned to the meaning of life and why we're actually here on this earth, which makes my family sound really super smart, and I assure you, uh, we are not. One of my family members' thoughts was that we are here, humanity is here, to do great things. My dad's conviction was more that it doesn't matter why we're here. We can't change it, even if we did know, so why don't we just love the people that are around us and our family? And that made me think, about The Fault in Our Stars. Which, by the way, I saw the movie on Friday, so if you love the book, go and see that movie. The lighting on this video, by the way, is terrible. I apologize, but it's mostly because I'm a terrible filmmaker. My dad reminded me of Hazel's differing worldview than Augustus's. Wow. Uh, Augustus really wants to be remembered. He wants to do something great so that he'll be remembered for all time, and Hazel, really doesn't care about that. She doesn't want to be that grenade that takes out everybody around her. To that point, she thinks that fearing about oblivion is stupid. I'm not going to pretend that I know anybody in this graveyard, nor do I know anybody's story. There are most likely great people buried here who have lived eventful and fulfilling lives. There are also going to be bad people who inflicted suffering on others and had few or maybe even no people attend their bodies being laid to rest here. There are people who struggled through life. There are people who loved and lost. There are people who just existed and that was good enough for them or not. It just seems so inefficient to sum up somebody's entire life with just one horizontal line. So here's what I'm thinking and you don't have to listen to me, uh, obviously, because I'm just a random guy on the internet that no one listens to. Let's reclaim the dash. This person was most likely somebody's father, brother, uncle, friend. And there's so much more to them than just the two dates that are plastered on the headstone. You know, the bad history teachers teach just the dates that things happen on and not the context that happen in between. Everyone who's watching, uh, yes, all two dozen of you, have somebody in your life that's going to die. And that sucks. That really, really sucks. But it's also what gives life its meaning. Because we're here for just a short amount of time on this earth, we might as well make the most out of it and share that with people. Do you know what happened during your parents' dash? Your grandparents? Your aunts? Your uncles? How about your siblings? How about yourself? Have you shared your dash with anybody else? Your failings, your successes. When you end up in a place like this, or when your obituary is written, what is your dash going to encompass? I'm asking a lot of questions, but I legitimately want to know the answers. The cemetery is not some gruesome monument of the dead. It is a celebration of life and of history waiting to be discovered. Before they end up here, let's find out what the dashes are of the people around us and share them with one another. What's your dash? My name is Kyle. I will see you all again next Thursday, where we'll continue on this dash together. Is that a bit too cute? It's a bit too cute. <laughs>